Hi, I'm Alan Clopine, CPA, Chief Financial Officer of Pure Financial Advisors, and you are watching Question of the Week. Today's question is about how to reduce estate taxes. First of all, let's talk about what estate taxes are. So if you were to pass away, the IRS would like to tax those assets before your beneficiaries receive them. But before you get too concerned, there's a, quite an exemption. It's $5,430,000 passes to the next generation, 100% tax-free. If you're over that, it's a 40% tax, so it's a lot. Now, if you're married, husband and wife each get the $5,430,000, so it's almost $11 million that passes to the next generation tax-free. So what is that? It's stocks and bonds, it's equity and real estate, that sort of thing. Let's say you're over that, or let's say you think you're going to be over that. There's really probably three ways that you can reduce the estate taxes. The first one, very simple, is you start giving away some of your assets before you pass. You're allowed to give $14,000 to anybody that you want to, say your son. Your spouse, if you're married, can give $14,000 to your son, so that's $28,000. If your son is married, you can each give $14,000 each, $28,000 total to the spouse. So it's quite a bit that you can give away. By giving away assets, you're going to reduce your estate and therefore reduce your estate taxes. Number two would be buying life insurance. And a lot of financial planners recommend this. You buy life insurance to pay for that estate tax. I don't necessarily recommend this uh, unless you have assets that are highly illiquid, like real estate, or a business that you want to keep in the family and there's no other way to pay the tax without life insurance. Otherwise, I, I believe it's oversold in our industry. Third is what we call advanced estate planning and there's all kinds of techniques to try to reduce your estate taxes and they work. And essentially what it is is setting up entities like a family limited partnership or a charitable lead trust or a charitable remainder trust, for example. You're actually putting assets into those uh, entities. And what that does is that effectively takes it out of your estate and therefore you don't have to pay estate taxes on them. Now there's pros and cons for these entities. You're going to potentially lose some control over the asset. You may lose some income, so you may not want to do everything, uh, all your assets in these, and you may want to mix and match them. Usually it's a combination of things to make it work, but there's really no reason to pay a lot of estate taxes because of advanced estate planning. You have just watched Pure Question of the Week. <laughs>